One thing about me is I love a good disaster flick. I once heard somebody say that BIPOC people, queer people, we love disaster movies because the complete disintegration of society would be welcome, babe. It's like, why would we want to continue living in this oppression nightmare? Anyways, I thought that was an interesting take, but I've just always loved disaster movies since I was a little kid. I read this interesting article that said the psychology about this is because typically in most disaster movies, there is a small group of survivors who fall in love, have deep connections, form deep friendships in ways they would have not had the disaster not occurred. And the reason you might feel good during a disaster movie is because you're rooting so much for these people to survive. And in the end, they often do and they have like a happy ending. But I'm going to do a little series here on TikTok of my favorite disaster movies. And I would love if you could contribute your faves too. Let's just have a little fun. Let, let's think about what disaster movies we're loving, babes. And we're going to start off strong with 2012. This movie is camp. This movie is fun. It's got John Cusack, struggling writer who's still in love with his ex-wife, is, is struggling to be a dad, stumbles into an end of the world scenario. We've got perspectives from around the world. We've got my boyfriend, she would tell EGO4. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but I love this man's movies. This man is an actor. This man is serving scientist. He always, like in his disaster movies, is always like, God damn it, the temperature's rising too fast. I tried to warn you. Incredible. 